Hello there, and welcome to Rogue Rising. And before you say anything, I know, I've seen it, I can see it, you can see it, we can all see it. It says Rouge, I know, I know. I Part of me wants to think that it's a deliberate joke, because if you've ever played an RPG in your life, then you know that the, the disparity between Rogue and Rouge really is that close, and it happens all the time, okay? People take their O's and U's and their G's and they have no idea what they're doing with them. I, I, I know, I can see it, but the game is Rogue Rising. You can find it as Rogue Rising. And this is a newly released solo dev roguelite project. And I need to say that before we start, because the fact that it's a solo dev project is going to be very obvious. But if I come in here and I show you guys the credits really quick, there you go, Rogue Rising. It has it written right there. You've got special thanks, visuals. However, game by Stir, director Stir, level designer Stir, story Stir, programmer Stir, project manager Stir, and additionals with Unreal. All right, this is a solo dev project. Let's jump straight in. I need you guys to experience the majesty. <laughs> the majesty of Rogue Rising. <laughs> now, I spent, I'm going to be honest with you now, there's a tutorial for the game. There's like a, you know, a little 10 minute tutorial that explains all the buttons and how to play the game and all that. Nothing explains anything besides that. You just get dropped in and there's little signs and, and you know, jumping and enemies and stuff like that. And that's it. I know nothing about what this game is actually about. It is explained nothing just so we're all on the same page. However, what I can say is that this game is an undiscovered gem in in the best of ways. Now, if I come back here, I think I can go back training ground. Right. Can I go back and do the tutorial again real quick? Just yes, I can. Let's do the tutorial so that you can all find out how this game is played the way that I did. No, the skeleton is not interactable. We do have punches, though. We have we have attacks. Nice uh, smacky smacks. We have a sign up here. <clears throat> Let me press the X button for a normal attack, press and hold to charge attack, A to jump, B to perform unique evasive maneuvers. This is the the best sign that we will find. Oh, there's our charge attack. This charge attack is insane, by the way. It doesn't really seem to matter. I'm going to turn this down in post. It's so loud. I d Why is it so loud? I also can't access the start menu in the tutorial, so I can't turn my volume down. I'm going to have to remember to come in here and cut this down a bit. Now, this is insane. We have our roll. It's a really nice looking cartwheel, to be honest. Now, the second sign. Press the A button against the wall a certain number of triangle jumps a certain number of times. Now, <laughs> I'm going to be the first person to let you know this game was originally uh, not designed uh, with English in mind. It's been translated to English. So some of the signs and some of the instructions might be a little bit difficult at first. I'm just going to warn you now. Press down and B simultaneously. Sliding. You can avoid enemy attacks, but you will take damage. While sliding, press the attack button to change your normal attack. Fantastic. What's this second sign say? If you avoid the attack at the last minute, the gauge, if the gauge is full, bullet time will be triggered. Complete invincibility. You can attack unilaterally without worrying about the enemy's attack. So down and B, we can actually do like a slide, which weirdly enough, travels much further than a conventional dodge. And this little sphere thing is going to, uh, going to shoot at us. And you can see our dodging works delightfully. The game is actually rather floaty. Woo! See, there you go. Bullet time. Look at that. How sick is that? However, I don't think I'm taking any damage, which it said I'm supposed to take damage, or maybe I don't take damage, but this electric slide is way better than the regular dodge if it functions that well. Um, look look how far this thing travels. That is, that is ridiculous. Uh, no chance in hell. Also, you can cancel your, your electric slide into an attack as the game... Look, look, whoa, dude! As the game explained, uh, you can stop time by holding down the right stick while the scroll is in place to stop time. You can destroy some walls in the dungeon. It is replenished every level, so use it carefully. 
use it carefully and boldly. Uh, so we're not moving. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. Look at this. Look at this goblin dude. <laughs> look at this. Look at this guy. Uh, uh, uh. Beat him up. Beat, yeah. Beat, beat him up. Yeah, beat him up. And he's dead. Amazing. If you press the down key while in the air, you can fall at high speed. During this time, you are completely invincible. I don't know what word that is at the start. You will be completely invincible and a shockwave will be emitted that will blow away. Uh, so that would be the dive kick, which you can do just by doing, you know, your, your down and attack or down input. Is, is it just down? Yeah, it is just down. You just hold down for a second and it does its dive kick. It's pretty cool. Now, status abnormalities. This is something that a lot of games don't do in the tutorials, regardless of how many people worked on it, which is explain what some status effects do. Burns continues to take damage unless you, uh, it moves around and is extinguished until it is extinguished. Poison. When the gauge is maxed out, it will always take two damage. Try to get out before it does. So if we stand in here, you can see the little poison meter building up. Ow. And now we are... Ow. Going to take... Ow. Two hits of damage. If I stand in fire... Oh no, I'm burning. If I roll around a bunch, the fire seems to go away. So you can see the, the flame effect above my head disappearing as I roll. This is actually a really good mechanic. This is actually a really smart idea, is to make the player have to physically use evasion skills, like stop, drop, and roll, in order to take fire away. I was about to say flame away. Take fire away. It's actually really good. Skills are assigned to each of the trigger and L1 and R1 buttons. Skills are assigned to each button. After using a skill, you can use it again. After a after using a skill, you can use it again after some time has passed. <clears throat> okay. Tension gauge. Increasing it multiplies your attacks. Multiplier. Each character has a different way to raise it. Each character has a different way to raise it. Brilliant. Curses. Gauntlet gauge in the middle. Events over time and in the dungeon. It also rises with the acquisition of rare relics. It rises as enemies become harder and bosses and bosses start to behave in a special way. It is best to explore the dungeon quickly. So it's a timer. I'm assuming is the skull in the middle, uh, top center middle bit with the two flames around it, that is going to curse me or debuff me or penalize me if I don't... Wow, that thing did a lot of da da damn, dude. Okay, hang on. So sliding into an enemy, I take damage. Here, come over here, son. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I'm using all my buttons. What in the world was that? I'm just trying to do this... this I have no idea what any of these skills do, by the way. It told me that my skills are mapped to the buttons, but I have no idea what the buttons even do. Dive kick! Yeah, that! I want to see that! Ugh! Ugh! Just so we're clear, this is like the coolest way to engage a fight, is to electric slide your way in and hit him with a with an overhead cross flip kick thing. Look! look. Ugh, it's so good. We're going to wall jump our way out of here. Relic can be found in treasure chests and dungeons. It has various effects. If you lose, all of them will be confiscated. Collect them and conquer the tower effectively. Let's acquire great reward. Um. Oh, I believe it won't let me take the great reward because I've already gotten the reward thingy when I finished the tutorial the first time. The problem I'm seeing, however, is I... Can I not leave if I can't open the chest? But I can't open the chest because I'm technically still in the middle of a run i just went backwards into the tutorial and this rock is in the way which is supposed to disappear when i collect the i am soft locked i have i have soft locked myself give me a moment oh i can open it we did it okay it worked this time i don't know why a mysterious map it automatically maps the inside of the tower which changes every time it automatically maps the inside of the tower fantastic and the the, the rock is broken we can leave we're continuing on with the run. Let's actually start the game. Now that we've left the tutorial, I'm gonna come back over here and we've got these other characters. I believe these are the other two playable ones based on what I saw at the start screen. Increasing and decreasing the tension gauge. Tension gauge increases when you hit an attack. The basic type that goes down when you take damage, long distance type, switch characters. Oh, uh, increase, what? 
The sharpness does not decrease with charge attacks and attack skills. The sharpness does not drop. Can we recover with skills? Okay, okay, yep. None of this helps me to understand what's going on. I'm going to go with the dude we started with. The martial arts punchy kicky dude. And and let's, let's just see. What the hell? It was a mistake, but you know what? Let's go over here anyway. Oh, this is, is this the permanent progression place? I'll come back here later. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm getting ahead of, we're getting ahead of ourselves. First, we need to go to the tower and do a, a proper run, tried and true, <laughs> electric boogaloo. And yeah, yeah, we're in. What, what is this? What is it? What? Checkpoint, maybe? I don't know. Um, huzzah! Now, is this all destructible? Can I break? No? All right, let's just go this way. Uh... Traversal! Let's traverse the, the, the tower. First enemy killed itself on spikes. Fantastic. Um. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, all right. Ow, ow, yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is... Pausing time. Smack, smack. Um. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm getting... I'm almost... I'm almost dead. Sun. Sun, 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 sun. These things... I am one hit away from de hello. Uh. 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 Son. Did I just die from kicking it? Excuse. What? Hang on a minute. Is there contact damage or something? What happened there? Was there contact damage? Because he did. He did his attack already. I kicked him. I jumped up and smacked him in the face. Excuse me. The dungeon does randomize itself after each. I am taking damage from touching them. Oh no. No, oh, that was that was an insane kick. Oh my god, that was that was really cool looking. Um. Um. Oh, that's really bad for this character. That's really bad for this character. His attacks are so shallow. He doesn't have long stretching. Li oh dear. Uh, dog thing, come over here and, and die. Could you do that for me? Could you? I'm gonna have to Vagante this and just rely on, on, on. Oh, come on, dude. Don't have a smart AI now. Die. Uh... I am afraid. Sick. Okay, that was we 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 did something. I can't I can't reach with half my attacks. Uh, <laughs> it's okay though. It's okay though. We're doing it. I have no idea what I'm going after or what I'm doing, but I I have no 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 fundamental idea as to what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. But we are beating the hell out of wolves. Um, dive a kick. Okay, the dive kick is really nice. I need to do my my electric slide attack more. Slide into those DMs and and uh beat up wolves. Wait. Oh my god, there are actually spikes right down there. Uh if I kick. Wait. Kick. Yeah, dude. Okay, get get destroyed. I am I am slaughtering this. I didn't know about the contact damage. I'm gonna, uh, we, we call it a mulligan, right? We're gonna, okay. The jumping attack is like his best button. Jumping attack is best button. Oh, treasure. Uh, not that I could get that treasure just yet. Dive, dive kick. Us, 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 us. Combos, combos, he's dead. Uh, <laughs> let's go over here. I need to, get to this this whatever this is checkpoint life restoration i'm not sure what the hell things are killing themselves all over the place now wait i can i can pause time and destroy the map right no okay i i i don't know why in the tutorial that the no that the walls were destroyed when said incident occurred that is such a cool combo though However, oh dear. What <laughs> hit me? No, dude. Screw this. I'm going, we're going to go weeb style. We're going in Katana Man. Uh, Katana Man, what, what do you do, Katana Man? Is, is, I, I, uh, 
Let's let's see what he do. Why is that sound effect so loud, dude? The the sound effect volume is already at 15% and it's that loud as a default? Come on, dude. Is that your drop kick? His drop kick is a, all right. All right. What the hell is that? Why is that his dash attack? W whatever, dude. Nice. I Let's go. I believe. I believe. I didn't believe before, but I believe now. What? Why is everything just dying randomly? Okay, this guy does damage, but at the same... Oh, no. Fire. Fire. Fire hot. Fire hot. Don't hurt me. Ah! So, what? These are switches? They're traps? Is that, is that what these are? I can't even land on that. Poison cloud. They're, they're just traps. Okay, cool. Means I will ignore them. And will... Hi-ya! Ah! No, no, get out of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Damn it, damn it. Ah, huzzah. Oh, I slashed the projectiles. Wait a minute, can I slash projectiles? Throw, throw. Okay, that was terrible. Do it again. You, you totally. <laughs> Come on, man. Why is this that this dash attack shoots straight into this? Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Fine. We're going to play as as cute elf archer girl, the best character in the entire game. Look at that sneaking animation though. This is the best character in the game. I can tell because she's going to have a range attack. Yep. What? And her third shot goes through the walls. Okay, cool. Uh what's what's your your aerial stuff. Nice, nice. I like it. I don't like how loud all the sound effects are being. It's going to make it difficult for me later, but okay. Nice little cart roll. Uh, a slide, sliding attack is effectively the exact same thing that Samurai Dude had, but it, it actually has an arcing projectile that... <laughs> she can shoot through walls. <laughs> <laughs> this is so... Why could she shoot through walls? Why? I mean, she's clearly the best character in the entire game due to this one incredible strength, but... Why could she shoot through the wall? How? Excuse you? Oh, okay, I could just barely make that. A dinosaur? Uh, th this is a step up. This is... Wait, can I... This is a bit of a step up from what I was fighting before, dude. Can I even... Pew pew. Pew pew. Ugh, take that. <laughs> hey, we did it. We, <laughs> we killed the big green dinosaur. Barney 2.0? What a loser. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> shoot, shoot the goblin. Go on, shoot, shoot the goblin. I want to see where this goes, dude. I, I need, I, I need, no, I don't want to. You've got a limited number of wall jumps you can do before you have to drop back down, touch the ground again. So I'm trying to not touch spikes at the same time and war, not backflip myself into an early grave. Uh, Pew 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 pew. Hang on, can I can I do this? Can I act? No, I can't. The angle, it's a it's a it's a sour angle. All right. Um. <laughs> Get some. Oh, I'm I'm anxious, dude. If I touch him. Up. Oh, smooth moves, dude. Up 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 up. Oh, dude, traversal. We're 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 moving now. We're we're schmoving. We've we've got the moves. We've got the wall. Oh. Yeah. We've, we've got the moves, we've got the shots, we've got the blam, blam, blams. Okay, okay. Uh, am I trying to go up or down? I'm looking at the map in the bottom right, and I have no idea what I'm supposed to be going... Whoa. Where I'm supposed to be going and what I'm supposed to be doing. There's, there's, there's no information as to what I'm... What my objective here is. Come on, man. It's such a... It's such an 
awkward angle to try and actually fight with. No. Ah, you son of a bitch. Okay, that's news to me. Yes, nice. The uh, justice intent. Four damage. C come on, but uh, fine. Oh, we shot his shot out of the air like a shoddy shooty person. We did it, dude. I'm actually really good at this game now. Uh, <laughs> I'm really good at the game. Believe me. Uh, yep, avoiding uh, bad explosion things. Uh, pew, pew, pew! I shot a shot out of the air because I'm a good shooty shooter. Yeah, dude! Get get the, the destroyed! This is incredible. I, I love this. This is, this is amazing. This is my favorite character and thing to do. Wait. <clears throat> Wait. Wait. Wolf will die. So I am I meant to be going up the tower, right? The idea is I'm I'm ascending. I, I'm I must ascend the great tower, reach the top and acquire powerful riches and and good things. Yes. Uh, how come the wolf doesn't trigger the traps? Yeah. Ah, uh, because he also doesn't get hurt by the traps. I see. Hang on, I never looked at her charge up attack. Speaking of which, I never looked at the samurai charge up attack either. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. And I will... Th those also go through the walls? Dude, she might be kind of busted. Hang on. Okay, she might be kind of busted. I'm assuming... What the hell? Oh, oh, hello. Yeah. 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 I will get you. <laughs> I'm assuming this is... Oh, life back! Yes! Okay, so what's that? A healing room and this is a scroll? Oh, I spent a scroll to get... Okay, I understand it's using healing to get scrolls or scrolls to get healing, but I've just net minus one. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. On fire, rolling, but if you don't actually do any distance with your roll, nothing happens. That is a really clever use of literal physics and actuality. If you roll up against a wall, you will not be put out, but if you roll against... Uh, uh, if you roll and make distance, it, it does do the... Th what the hell? Is there someone... Oh, there's a wolf down there. I thought that was an arrow for a second, dude. Can you? Sick. Sick. Die. Die, Barker. Barker, Yarrow. Stupid person. Um. No. I believe. I believe in the arrows, yes. Dude, we are actually making such good progress. We are doing so well. And I am really afraid because I've just remembered that there is like a timer system, I, I think. Ugh! Okay, the drop attack is really handy. There's like a, a, a timer, right? And if I don't get to the end... Oh, treasure! In time. A scroll! Oh no, I had to use a scroll. A picky peach! Eating them raises the maximum amount of life. The amount of increase... Depends on how rare it is. Automatic activation. Yay! So I've got more life now. Excellent. And this is the end of the... Uh, okay. Uh, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. Can I Can I look at the map somehow? No? Is there a... Oh, okay. We've got inventory. That's good. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. But I... Alright. I can't see the map any larger than, than what I'm looking at right now by the looks of it. So I'm gonna... Yeah! We're gonna go down and to the right a little bit because there's enemies over here, which means I haven't explored this side. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's two of you. Oh, I'm so good, dude. Okay, that's really slow. I can't jump up now because of the... No! Ah! Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't hit me. Don't hit me. No, 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 Die! <laughs>
<laughs> we lost a lot of life there. That was really bad. We are we are still breathing. And oh yeah, dude. Oh, he's gonna get it. Why did that do little damage? That was a fully charged attack. It should have done yo. Should have done so much more damage. Damn. Oh, is this it? We did it! We're at the end of the room. What is this? Huh? What am I what am I losing for this? Nothing? Just a little free healing. Okay, cool. Uh boss no. Yes! Hello! Thing that is clearly a boss. Uh-oh. Alright. Oh dear! It's a phoenix, dude! <laughs> I can just destroy its projectiles! Yo, sick! Whoa! Yeah, dude! Get some! Stupid Phoenix. <laughs> oh, I got it. No. Um, I can't. I can't. I need to reach you. Oh, I see. Oh, that's actually like, no. I jumped back into the attack. I'm jump. I'm jumping back into the attack. I can't die to the phoenix. I will not die to this JPEG. I will. Ugh, I'm gonna die to the JPEG. No. Give me back weeb samurai guy. Give me back weeb samurai guy. Let me go to the cat house. What's at the cat house? I need to see. A mysterious object reduces attack power, but it can increase the number of normal attacks. Okay, these things all cost stars and I don't have any stars. I found that robot in the tower. I picked it up. To fix it, I need 68 rusty screws and at least 50 star chips. Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, I have none of this. I can't do anything. I have seven whatever those are, but nothing else. Uh, samurai guy, I want to see your charge attack. Let's go. Trying to get poisoned, you'll always lose two life. I, I agree, dude. Oh, okay, cool. He has a uh, an Eido uh, special super awesome cut attack. Now, if we're going to do this legit, and by legit, I mean just try our, our bestie best best to to do this with a melee character who is definitely handicapped and most definitely is not a good character to pick in this game um that's a lot of traps that would be if that would be fire that would be that would be flame that would be that would be a problem for for me if yeah that that fire lasts a really long time stop stop okay he doesn't get okay jumping attacks seem to always stun enemies standing attacks do not always stun enemies ah so i need to like do jumping moves at the st yeah yeah we just do a bunch of those we'll just do that forever and ever and and nothing else period die um Please get up. There. Uh, slaughtered. Y you backer. Oh my god. Uh. 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 Yeah. Okay. Combos. We're doing. We're doing. <laughs> we're doing combos. I. I. I will do this. I will do this with the samurai. And if not, well... I haven't used my abilities, dude! <laughs> I just realized I've not used my abilities the entire time. Maybe that's the secret. 
Maybe. What did I do? What did I do though? I don't know what we did. I don't know what we're doing with these skills, dude. Oh my god, I was so close to- how did I not- How did you not die? No, 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 no. Walk into the spikes. Walk into the- Fine, you know what? Yeah, take that. Perish and suffer and die a, a thousand deaths. Um... Oh my god, please. Please. This stupid phoenix thing is so just impossibly irritating. Um, up, 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 up we go. Over here, through here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, I can't quite reach, which does suck. Sick. <laughs> I had to test it. I had to see. Okay, that looks cool, but it does not do enough damage to justify it. I still think it's more worth your time just to do jumping attacks because they do like as much damage as fully charged moves. Like literally. Uh, and samurai guy has no way of attacking through walls like the archery girl did. How the hell is he gonna fight the phoenix? Seriously, like what? Am I gonna have to dodge enemy attacks like a real player? I don't wanna have to do that. I wanna just like, shoot the enemy projectiles with my projectile. Uh, what the hell was that sound? What happened? Did my buff run off? That I used like 3,000 years ago? Yo, get smashed. That was a spike and a half. Shout outs to Mario's jumping forward A. Why? Why? Why, why am I now doing one damage hits? What? I don't know what's happened. I don't understand. I, I simply don't. Damn it, dude, come on, come on. Fine, martial arts, bro, let's go. We're gonna wata our way through the through the, the bad place. I'm going to use his charged attacks because his charged kick move might be the secret to doing this. Uh, for example, let's, what? Oh, I got it, yeah, I did it. That was on purpose. Get some. Okay, that's that's not that's not that's not. Uh, uh. No. Okay. Dive a kick. Dive it. Dive a kick. Damn it. What? -a! Die. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Uh, I can totally drop. Oh. Hang on. Hang on. Can I? Oh. Okay. Uh, fighting dude has, has tech. Oh my god, dude! Okay, fighting bro has some, some swaggy stuff that he can do. I like, I like the spiking. Any airborne enemy getting immediately drop kicked into the ground is, is, is doing it for me. Okay, it's it's doing it for me. <laughs> it's <laughs> I'm not gonna complete a single boss in this ammo. Uh, uh. <laughs> Can I reach? No, I can't reach, of course not. I have all of the reach of a snail. A snail that doesn't have arms. Because snails don't. What Sick. We we are we are disgustingly good now. I've I've de I've developed my, my fighting style. I'm good at the game. See? Oh, I should have fully charged that and I would have decimated you. Come back over here. Come closer. Oh, uh, come closer so I can what are you? Alright, buddy. No! Oh you can do it again. Oh, come back and do it again. I did try me. Try me, nerd. He's afraid. He has the fear of God. Ugh. Yeah, dude, okay, that was that was genuinely sick. Okay, jumping attack is the best button. 
all right? Just always jump and then kick. Jump, spike, kick, attack. That's that's my secret tech to you, person who will eventually pick up and play Rogue Rising. All right? All right? That's my secret tech for you. Do that always and don't stop doing it ever. And especially if there's spikes beneath you. Spike them into the spikes. I got... Am I getting hurt by stuff that I'm not aware of? Hello? Oh my god! I, I used my L, my left bumper, which apparently is a big... Come on, dude! No, they're touching me! Oh! Okay, I'm losing life all of a sudden. This is not good. Um, what the... Doesn't reach. I need... I need a heal. Okay, they're getting... Enemies are able to get so close and touch. Like, this is the kind of game where contact damage should not exist. I'm, I'm just going to say it. This contact damage works for some games, for this one. You shouldn't do it, all right? That was really cool. Double kill. But you, you shouldn't do it for this one. I'm going to activate super wicked awesome buff thingy. And then... And then... Oh, dear. Nice. And then we're going to use our attacks... I still have no idea what some of these other buffs and buttons do. Oh, sh- Oh. Okay. Okay. Yes, I'm afraid. So what? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What? Get some. Yeah, roll through that. Okay, we're, we're badass. We're, ba we, we're kind of going through moments of either complete and total badassery or complete and total stupidity. Like, it's one or the other. You're not going to get... It's either going to be really cool or really not. And that's, that's it. That's what you get. Like it, leave it, lump it. Oh my god. No, you don't get to live. You don't get to live. You die. That buff that I've put on myself is lasting an awful long time, so much so that the cooldown has come off. Uh, am I back at the start? Oh, come on, dude, but what? Um, uh, over here, I guess. Yeah. Is that a cursed chest? Instead of losing one life, instead of losing one life, a higher rarity AF is produced. But that's gonna, does that? It says instead of losing one life. Instead of one life. And yet I can't open the chest because it seems like it wants me to pay one life. So... Yay? Why is this buff effect still on me? I can no longer activate it because it's permanent now. It's, it's just on. My cool kick left bumper move works. My... Whatever that big defensive, yeah, yeah, that works. Um, um, what's my right bumper thing? Did it just? What the hell is it? What? Did it just pause time? Did I just pause time temporarily? Son, I didn't know I could do that. Uh, that, yeah, yeah, we did it. We found the end. It's not giving me life. Why? What are the rules? I don't know that. I just found the map button. It was triangle the whole time. You can teleport to these. They're teleporters. I didn't know. Come on, dude. They're teleporters. You can teleport. Okay. That changes everything. I have one life. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. How, 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 how? Huh? <laughs> oh, I didn't go. What? Yeah. Uh, no, this, this is so bad, dude. Yo, the music, though! 
say what you will about my favorite game, Rogue Rising. The music is phenomenal. No, he turned around on a die! <laughs> no! Come on, my guy. Okay, I'm gonna do one more attempt with the Archer Girl because she's clearly the best character in the game. St I still am not keeping anything besides seven whatchamacallits. And the timer makes no sense in the bottom right. What? What is going on here? Okay, teleporter for the start of the of the area discovered. We, we got this. We got... Okay, please jump up. No, not a good start. Not a good start. Yeah. Take that. Get shot. Um. Uh -huh. Die. That was amazing. I am amazing. Be believe it. Please hit him. No. <laughs> Why don't they hit? Why do they? Ugh, why do they miss? <laughs> like, fine, whatever. I'm ignoring him. I don't think I need to kill enemies. Killing enemies seems to give me money. I don't know what the money is used for because I'm not keeping said money. Yo! I'm not keeping said. Ow! Said money after each. Ow! After each run. So I don't. Y what? I'm not trying to open the map. I'm trying to. Ugh. Stop, stop, stop. I'm just trying to get up this wall. I'm just trying, please. I'm just trying to get, I am not trying. Ugh. No, I don't want to open the map. I really don't want to open the map. I don't know why it's asking me this. I'm not pressing the triangular button. They don't give up. Ow, they just keep chasing you forever and ever 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 and ever. And ever. Uh, fine. Hey, so I have no idea what I'm doing um, in this game. Like, actually, I have no clue. Uh, this is Rogue Rising. This is a indie developed title. Obviously, it has some, some polishing to work out. Uh, the only thing that I will say about the game in genuine critique of, of negativity is the current sales price of the game. The game is currently trying to sell itself to you for i believe the same price as say wizard of legend and just to go a step further it's like seven dollars au more expensive than dungreed dungreed and wizard of legend both being in my opinion legendary additions to the roguelite gallery of games that you should play and if you haven't played either one of those yet please do so but uh, Rogue Rising comes in at the same price at $22 Australian, which I'm assuming is about 15 or so USD, which for what we have right here is definitely asking a lot. I understand that this is a work in progress. It's, it's an early access solo dev project and much to the same vein as games like Space Gladiators, these games can end up being phenomenal. They can end up being really, really good because with a singular vision can often come singular linear design and purpose, which means that the game doesn't derail itself and suffer from too much bloat from having lots of different inputs and lots of different ideas trying to be balanced. However, at the same time, sometimes you need some perspective and other people on the team can help give that perspective. So, I mean, if you like what you see, check out Rogue Rising. It's, it's released on early access. I think that this is definitely some polishing that needs to be done, but I will always, forever and ever, give massive kudos to a developer who is working on their own using whether it be free resources or a buying said resources. I know Unreal is being used for this, um, and we'll always give them the due credit that they are, they are very much deserving of. It is not easy to make a game, uh, not by any stretch of the imagination, and Evidently, it's also very difficult to translate your game to a language that may not be your native speaking language or even your second, third or fourth language. However, in closing, I will say confidently, I am not getting anywhere near beating this stupid Phoenix boss and I need, I need to either practice or just get someone. Please tell me what these abilities do. Tell me what do less of my whatchamadoos now than when I started. What did I do? <laughs> but with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed Rogue Rouge Rising, and I will see you all next time. Have a good one.